Now I'm just turning this lid for this uh, ginger jar, oh, ginger jar I suppose, it's just a lidded, lidded jar really. Just to shove it off centre. a little bit turned. Well, I'll turn this, um, just turn this lid here. I'm just going to form the, uh, form the knob on the top of it. I'm making it a nice big wide flat um, knob on this because I'm going to add some more texture clay to it. So I just need to wet this. This is the clay with the ball clay with the bits of iron in it. I'll just sprinkle them from above. Take it off the edge there just to give it a bit of a line. the finished pot there. That's the lid I've just done. That one there is the bottle. I've already added the 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 the, the neck of it and sprinkled some more of this uh, ball clay with iron bits in it. I don't know if you can pick it up on here. It's already showing how it's going to affect the glaze is that the bits of um, the bits of metal that we've got uh, were crushed up in it. They're all started to rust already. 
so they're, they're going to be fantastic iron uh, dribbles or iron burst in it hopefully um, not sure if you can see it there just spinning this lid to make sure that the pot's round so the, 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 the lid inside the lid's round because I've deformed it here sometimes you lose the integrity of the 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 rim of the pot itself but let me spin it a little bit just to see it so there we have them a bottle and uh, a jar that should have been a bottle that I decided to um, make it into a lidded pot because it I like I like this this form here um, and there we have it, they're finished.